あ、来てる。ハイキュー、シーズン<笑> Have you had your moment yet? Have you had your moment yet, Suki? Makete tozente omotteru. Tate ni meter dao. But how tall was he? Mazatte minai. Playing together. That'd be interesting. Oh, a new opening! Oh, yeah! It's about that time. Oh, this one's upbeat, even more so than usual. Hmm, interesting. Interesting that he's in the intro. What does it mean, I wonder? Oh yeah, feeling more unified than ever. Hands, lots of hands. And flying, you're not just spending most of this opening in the air. There's just obstacles we can blow right past in the tournament. I'm hoping, uh, and oh, but Josai, yeah, I think I can see where this is going. And the, the greatest, the greatest team. I don't think Hinata's touched the ground yet, so far. Nice. It was a great long shot in the intro. Episode 14, still growing. I don't think they need to be told anymore. What the heck? They're a spy? Oh, it's what the hell? Yeah, what what the hell? Got me. But what, why would he need a disguise? Nice. Is that... Legal? Yeah, yeah. Right, it seems a little bit unethical. Maybe just, yeah, maybe just dress as a student. Maybe dial down the creep factor a little bit. Oh, it's not working, it just has an aura. Guilty aura. It's working out great. Everything's coming up, Kageyama. Still waiting, I feel like the Suki arc hasn't completed yet. He's come a long way, but there's still something holding him back. No, he's not taking it lightly. Yeah. Yeah, I understand hating him because he's just relentless and he just won't let you rest. He just shines a light as the sun on your shadow. With his brother, that's gonna be interesting. His brother's gotta be there. I think it just would mean so much. It would be so cool if his brother watched him win. There's just so much history there. What did they beat the college students? Yeah, that makes makes sense. Stands to reason that Karasuno is not the only team improving. They're not the only ones working hard at this level of competition. Yeah, I mean he's amazing. No and he's giving it his all. I mean, at least he's honest. Yeah, hell yeah. I feel so much better. I think there's a key idea here, and that's related to their focal point as individuals and as a team. It's not about just improvement in a generic sense. They want to win. They want a championship, which means there's no sugarcoating what it's going to take. They're going to have to beat the very best people. They're going to have to beat o Oikawa, Aoba Josai, and they're going to have to beat Ushikawa, which is uh, seems to me an even bigger threat. So the quicker they can grapple with that and admit that openly and not shy away from that, the better chances they have of actually doing meaningful work towards getting there. Another element of that is that it's unsatisfying to win without that because those are the challenges in front of them that determine victory. And because this is so connected to personal growth, of which I think an essential element is self-honesty, it would be somehow unsatisfying if they managed to get around that or utilize some kind of trickery, whatever that might be, to get a victory. If we're charting like a hero path for them, right? The, the optimal thing is for them to get to the top of the mountain and beat the very best playing at their best. And so it's a question of how do they do that? So I get the excitement. You know, you want Oikawa to be great. You want him to be as good as he possibly can be. So there's just nothing left on the table and there's no excuses. No asterisks on your record. Yeah. 
Still waiting for this moment, the moment where he knows. You can tell his older brother just adores him. I mean, he's basically laid his soul bare to Suki. I'm just waiting for that connection to happen. I guess Suki's taking, taking an active role in his education and development now. Oh great, we're adding to the arsenal. <laughs> he just ate a phantom Hot Pocket or whatever that was. <laughs> Mad Dog, thank you, That's that makes it easier. As if they weren't formidable enough as a team. But then again, what the peak challenge, right? So bring it on. Oh, he's got a personality. Is this a positive thing for the, the team? It seems like there's a risk of destabilizing things, especially since Oikawa is such a dominant leadership role. Okay. I guess it's up for the challenge. It required a dash backwards. And our brothers from a different volleyball mother. For some reason, I was under the impression they were going straight into the tournament. A little lukewarm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's big. It's big for him. Turning point. I'm gonna guess placement. Okay. Yeah, I feel like if you get your hands right in front of the ball, you have a great chance. Yeah. I never, never realized at the start of the show how symbiotic the relationship between these two teams would be. It almost feels like they're they're part of the same group at this point. Maybe their victories will be shared in, in a, some key sense. And I feel like that's actually really well represented by the coach, who's just after, you know, great volleyball, and is deeply, intrinsically linked to Karasuno. Getting better. Yeah, they, they did the most difficult work already of stripping away their the things they were com comfortable with and replacing them. I'm hearing that My Hero Academia music influence again. <laughs> Getting there. Getting better. It wasn't that long ago that he didn't want to do any extra practice. Here he is doing it on his own time. If anyone <laughs> wants a chance at redemption after the last tournament... One thing that still hasn't come through is his, what do you call it, the the serve from the back. I wonder if that'll ever happen. Something with more stakes. I feel like we just witnessed a little bit of foreshadowing. <laughs> They're giving him the reluctant little brother treatment. Plus 10 points of volleyball IQ. Yeah, that's it. The timing. What else is new? <laughs> Never occurred to me. Who would have thought we can continue later and stop playing volleyball? Alright, we're just speeding through this training time. Is this it? Are we here already? Oh, we are. Yeah, we're here. He seemed a little bit less confident. I can't imagine the nerves, though. Use it as fuel. And destroy them. 
That's gonna be a one-episode battle. Their one weakness. Looks like Hawks. This is where, where it's at, though. And this, obviously. I feel like there's some parallels with the Rocky movies. It's like, Rocky 1, he goes the distance. Rocky 2, he wins. Spoiler alert. That has an interesting relationship with bathrooms. Oh boy. There's something I can't put my finger on that's so critical about Oikawa that makes him such a good opponent. I think in season one he represented something that they could become and, and should become because it suits them. What made the biggest impression on me in that tournament was the versatility and the IQ, the adaptiveness. And I think it's no accident that they lost and then when trying to improve had to break themselves down to get out of this very narrow framework they had and expand the scope of what they could do. What's going to be interesting and why I expect them to play again and for Carcino to win is that there's been this hint of the idea of genius and talent, the idea that Oyakawa isn't a genius, where Kagoyama kind of is, I think that's the implication. Now that Karasuno is doing what Oikawa has done, but with a lot of raw talent that might give them the edge that they need. Oikawa, I think, set a standard for work ethic and for versatility that I think the, the first part of season two has been dedicated towards. But how tall was he? This two meter thing is just world famous. Well, they're both here in the same hallway. It's an eventful bathroom break, he called it. I see Oikawa has a lot of positive feelings for him. I like him. I've always liked him. I want to see more of him. Poor Hinata. She's caught in this energy. Real convincing. Oh no, everyone's here. Everyone's assembling. All the heavy hitters. And these guys have a grudge. Yeah, I don't know. That guy's something else. He just feels like he's on another level. Seems like there's no bad blood there, which is cool. <laughs> I feel like at this point, there's so many people to root for, but obviously Karasuno is number one. From this point on, everyone is my enemy. I have no sympathy. No love in my heart until they lose. You're going to play for exactly one episode. Not intimidated. And new ending. 33-31. Oh, that's ominous. I don't know if I want to watch this. This is uh, Oikawa's fantasy. The black and white dream that he's having. Damn, Daichi looks badass there. Oh, I wonder what role Date Tech is going to play in this arc. Looks like we're going to play them again. There's a little bit too much metadata, I think. <laughs> like, meta things to draw from. Obviously, Awa Joyce is very, very prominently featured. Their match seems destined. Like, I really don't expect the match with Oikawa, the Lester's team, to last more than one episode. I also, I really have no prediction about the outcome of the tournament. I really believe in Karasuno, and the show did such a good job establishing their growth in a way that felt meaningful to me. They're undoubtedly better than they were in the last tournament, which means they might go farther. But man, we're, there's some pretty massive giants in front of us. Oikawa and his team was bad enough already, but, you know, they've been improving too. And he's just as hungry, and that's not even the biggest challenge. It's tough, you know, it can be satisfying any way it goes. Loss necessarily does not mean failure, but... Since the beginning, I don't know, for whatever reason, I've been so invested in the thir third years getting a victory, you know? The idea of them going from nothing, being the little guy, being forgotten, the flightless birds, etc. To see the likes of Daichi and Tanaka get a win would be so great for me to watch. But this is sports in an elimination tournament. Anything could happen. 